Hello, this is Wolfgang Marr, online founder, governance and continuity, your upgrade to first class resilience. In this short video, I'm reporting on the work of ISO TC292, work group 2, on this um, work group meeting in Bali, Indonesia, where we continue to work on the development of ISO 22316 a proposed standard on organizational resilience. The work group came to the conclusion that resilience is not just only an outcome, but also an ability, an ability to adapt to changing circumstances. And this ability, as reflected in the standard, is uh, supported by three parts of resilience. Maybe the top layer are the principles which has to be followed or have to be observed. The principles themselves are supported by attributes or properties an organization should have. And um, these attributes and principles are very much supported by a number of activities, all supporting the goal to become more resilient as an organization. We also found out that um, this is a multidisciplinary effort and uh, one of the ways to obtain, to enhance resilience is to support the approach by a number of management disciplines. On top of that, you can probably assume, as discussed during the work group meeting, to differentiate between business continuity and resilience or organizational resilience as follows. BCM certainly is big impact but very quick and sudden events, an explosion, power outage, whatever. This can be dealt with uh, the methods and approaches proposed in ISO 22301, whereas resilience covers events or developments which are rather slow, which may extend over weeks and months or years, but if unchecked, might really pose a threat to the organization. So we have those two different speeds of impacts, continuity, sudden, and resilience more long term. Just stay tuned. I'm planning a webinar on this subject in the near future. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, Wolfgang Marr. Owner and founder, governance and continuity, your upgrade to first class resilience. Thank you.